Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul from Waxidents. This is my first ever haul from her. Now I have seen her, what like sets her apart from other new vendors that I've tried. I've seen her everywhere. I see her get recommended all of the time when people go into certain groups and say, hey, I'm looking for a new vendor to try. Uh, who do you recommend? I see a lot of people say Waxidents. I so far have not seen any negative reviews. Um, I did go to her Facebook page. There's a bunch of information there, um, Instagram and everything. So, so far, so good, uh, you know, fan base wise, I guess you can say. Uh, so I'm going to jump into it. Now, most of the information that I needed was actually on my invoice, which is fantastic. Um, you know, even the scents and stuff that I chose are on here. Um, the exact weights and the prices and everything are on here, which is amazing. I love that. So this is her business card. Look how cute. Waxidents, an experimental candle company. Uh, Facebook and Instagram. This is her website. That's her contact information. Um, the owner's name is Amanda, who is super sweet. Okay. So um, just going over the company real quick. Let me take this out. Okay. So she sells a whole ton of stuff. She sells candles. <clears throat> She does loaves, which are one pound to two pounds. Um, she does chunk bags. She does different shapes. She does scoopable. She does three packs, clamshells, different animals, um, dinosaurs, dolphins, hedgehogs, hippos, pigs, bunnies, turtles. Um, there are so many different shapes and sizes on the website, unicorns, stuff like that. Um, she does samplers. She even does jewelry. Now, the cool thing with the jewelry is that you can pick out which jewelry you want. You could do bracelets, rings, earrings, or... Um, <clears throat> sorry, or a necklace. Um, and if you choose to get a ring, you'll obviously have to tell her your size and she can either put it in the wax for you, which is really cool, or you can order it separately. Um, her tat for her company is 14 to 21 business days. Now everything on her website is custom. Um, so when you order, you put the things in your cart and then you go to the checkout section and you tell her what sense you want for which shape that you ordered, which I thought was really cool. Um, She's a one-woman show. Her name is Amanda, obviously. She does live in a pet-friendly home, so I just thought I'd put that out there in case you wanted to order. Um, she does use a Parasoy blend for her wax, and uh, she has a ridiculously huge scent list. Um, I think every scent you could ever think of is probably on that list. It was so hard choosing what scents I wanted. She had a ton of bakery. She had a ton of fruity. She had masculine. She had outdoorsy. Like I'm, She had so much stuff on there. Um... So she also, oh, I'm sorry. She also recommends a one week cure time before her wax, but then she also says that it's mainly up to you. Okay. So let's get into it. She sent me a ton of extras. So here is the first one. It's in a little thank you bar, which is super sweet. And the scent for this one is sun solutions. Um, and I love this. She does the born on dates, which is really cool. Um, her logo. And then she has her, um, company on there made in wisconsin and then we also have the pour date which is awesome now this is on all of them so this is citrus latin fruit trees ripe and luscious grapefruit sweet oranges and juicy pineapple mingle with jasmine and apricot with a creamy vanilla sandalwood and musk finish this actually isn't too bad for being like a fruity outdoorsy scent i mean it's obviously not my personal favorite we all know that i'm bakery queen so <laughs> Okay, then the next one that she gave me is in this cute little dinosaur. Now, this is pretty much her aesthetic, is dinosaurs and cute little shapes like that. So, this one is in Jurassic Period, which is suntan lotion and pink sands. I actually really like this one. I really like suntan lotion scents. I don't melt them very often, but I do like them every now and then just to get a break from the bakery sometimes. And mixed with pink sands is actually pretty good. Really, really strong. And then I got another little dinosaur, and this one is in Caribbean, which is a tropical paradise blend of coconut with fresh sliced pineapple with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. I actually really like this one too. I mean, you literally get the coconut and the pineapple and the vanilla ice cream. A lot of the times, pineapple overpowers everything in scents like this, uh, but I really like this one. 
it's different. I'm definitely going to keep it and try it out one day. And then she also sent me, now everybody gets one of these. Um, this is free with a purchase. Now this is the Waste No Wax Asaurus. So what this is, is overpours of orders. Um, so this is what he looks like. He has all different colors on him. Ooh, as you can see, super, super cute. I thought this was an amazing idea. Now she does not waste anything. She will not waste packaging. She will not waste boxes. She will not waste wax. Uh, so when you get your order like I did, she did state on the website that if she can reuse or recycle something, she will. Um, so for example, when I got my box, there was a piece of cardboard on top that she cut off from another uh, box that she had used. Um, however, the box that she had used had the shipping label on it still with the person's name and um, address. So I would just really be careful with that because there are a lot of psychos out there and um, I just wouldn't want somebody that I don't know having my address. So that was just something that I noticed. Now this is actually really good. I'm wondering if it's overpours from my own order because it smells like strawberry and bakery and cotton candy, which is a lot of the stuff that I bought. So I'm wondering if that's just an overpour from my own order. And then she also sent me a um, hand sanitizer, which I thought was really cool. I didn't even know that she made these. Um, so this is in zucchini bread. It's one ounce, um, you know, 100% alcohol, aloe vera, fragrance. This is so cute. I love that she sent me one in zucchini bread. It smells absolutely fantastic, but the only issue that I had with this, now I did try it obviously before I made the video, and it's really, really oily, and it does take a while for the oil to soak in your hands. Um, so that was just something that I noticed. Okay, so let's get into the haul. Thank you so much for all of those extras if you're watching. So the first thing that I picked out were these marijuana leaves. Now, if you are offended by weed, I would click off the video. So she had these on her website and my fiance really got a kick out of it. He thought it was super cool. And so I ordered some for him in a scent that he really likes. So these are, I believe, four ounces five ounces and they're $4.20 <laughs> which is really funny I just noticed that $4.20 um, and this is in mahogany coconut and palo santo type now like I said everything here is custom this smells amazing I love the coconut mixed with mahogany and then with the added palo santo omg this is so good this would so go good with so many different scents as well and he really really likes those so I'm very happy that I got them. Okay. Um, I also wanted to mention, not everything, but quite a few things in my order arrived broken. Now, I do realize that USPS is not very careful lately with packages. They just want to get it out there and get it done. So I do realize that. Um, however, I do think certain things in my order could have been packaged maybe a little bit better. Uh, the brittle bars that I got and the two-pound loaf that I got, all of those broke. Um, and I think maybe if she wrapped them in a little bit more bubble wrap or a little bit more tissue paper, like individually wrapped them, I think they would have done a better job because basically she put like bubble wrap on the bottom and then bubble wrap on the top, but she didn't individually wrap them. So I think if they were individually wrapped, they would have done a little bit better. Um, but I did get some of these, which are her little baby dinosaurs, which are super cute. And this one is in Coffee Shop and Butter Brickle, which is sugar cookie, sweet cream, sweet vanilla, coffee beans, and butter brickle. Now, also on the website, I was unsure of how many scents I could mix with each thing. Um, I didn't know if it was three oils or one house blend or one house blend plus another oil. I wasn't sure. Um, I did give her the list of what I was ordering because there was a problem with the website, which she does know about and she is actively trying to fix. Uh, there was something wrong with PayPal. PayPal would not let me check out. So I did email her and she did put my order through. She invoiced me for it. Um, and I did ask her if I did okay with the blending and she said that it was okay. So for this one, for example, I did a house blend plus one single oil and I think that's okay. I think she said you could do up to four single scents for, um, I don't know if it was all of her shapes or maybe just the lobes. I'm really not sure on that. The website's not very clear. Uh, but anyways, I'm glad that she did the house blend um, scent description on here so I didn't have to go looking for it. This smells amazing. You get that really sweet coffee and butter brickle scent with the sweet cream. Oh my gosh, it is so, so good. And definitely with the sugar cookies as well. Really awesome scent. And then I got circus dinosaur cookies with zucchini bread, graham cracker cookies, frosting, sugary magic, and zucchini bread.
Now this smells really nice. But um, it's not super strong. I really mostly get like a cookies, cotton candy type of blend. I'm wondering if that's like what sugary magic is. That's kind of what I'm getting. I do get a tiny bit of zucchini bread, but this one probably just has to cure a little bit longer. And then I got another one in Randy's Pet Dinosaur, which is uh, in cotton candy frosting. Serendipity, coconut cream pie, strawberry, and cotton candy frosting. This smells really good. Um, the strawberry is very, very strong. I think it's definitely overpowering the serendipity and cotton candy a little bit along with the coconut cream pie. I do get a tiny bit of serendipity and a tiny bit of coconut. So we'll have to see about that one as well. Okay, so I will show you the brittle bars that I got. She has two different ones and I'll show you both because I did end up getting both. Um, so this is my first one. And this one is in zucchini bread, cannoli, and vanilla butter fudge. I love the colors that she used. I think they're really pretty. Now, I know I need to break these apart anyway. So, like, these breaking didn't really bother me. This smells so good. I love zucchini bread with vanilla butter fudge. And then the cannoli kind of gives it just, like, an added sweet, creamy kick, you know? Okay, sorry. I had to move some things around. All right, then this is my second one. Yeah, none of these did very well in transit. <laughs> and this is fresh baked bread, fresh brewed coffee, and butter brickle. Again, I love the purple and the white together. This smells absolutely amazing. Her fresh baked bread and her fresh coffee is so insanely strong. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. The butter brickle, not so much, but um, again, these do need cure time, so I don't want to judge too much. <laughs> All right, then these are the other ones that she has. Um, the first ones there are um, 2.6 ounces for $3, and these ones are 4.5 ounces for $5, and the small dinosaurs were 3 ounces for $3.50 each. This smells amazing. Oh, I didn't even show you what it was. This is Count Chocula and Butter Brickle. Sorry, I'm like all over the place. This smells so good. I love the Count Chocula because it smells like a really actual real chocolate scent mixed with like a marshmallow. And then um, the Butter Brickle just brings that all together and makes it super sweet. So I am obsessed with that one. And then here is the second one that I got. This one did a little bit better. So this one is in Count Chocula and Pie Crust. Now this one smells a little bit waxy to me as if maybe not a lot of that oil kind of went in, like she didn't use as much oil. And um, I do smell a little bit of that pie crust, but it's mostly like the Count Chocula scent, but like I said, it's a little bit waxy, so we'll have to see about that one. All right, now, the next thing I'm gonna show you is huge. And I know a lot of people are probably gonna get on me for buying it since this is my first time um, ordering from this vendor, but I didn't care. Um, I've said in previous videos that I'm on the lookout for things that I don't have. New things, cool things, things that are unique and different that not a lot of people show. Um, that's really what I was on the lookout for and this is definitely one of those items. So let me pause the video and you know move some stuff around so I have room for it and I'll show you in a second. Okay, guys, this is what it is. It is a ginormous dinosaur. I can't even fit it down here. Unfortunately, he broke. Um, his head popped off his body. He is ginormous and huge. He is over two pounds of wax. And our scent description back here, I got it in zucchini bread, butter brickle, vanilla butter fudge, and funnel cake, which are like all of my most favorite scents in the entire world. And he smells absolutely amazing. He came double bagged in these ridiculously huge poly bags. Oh my goodness. You definitely get the funnel cake first and foremost. And then you get like that yummy zucchini bread scent with the vanilla butter fudge. 
we do get a little bit of that butter brickle as well. Now he was just poured on the 13th, so we do have a little ways to go before I can melt him. Um, but I am super excited to have this. I really want to find a way to get his head back on his body just because it's something cool to have. It's something cool to show off. It's something cool to have in my collection. So I really hope I can somehow fix him because I'm so sad that he broke. Um, because he's expensive. So he is a little over two pounds and he is $35. So yeah, he's, he's a little bit more on the expensive side. Uh, so I am very sad that, you know, he broke in transit. I'm trying to fix it here but um other than that I'm very happy with everything that I received I absolutely love everything so far and I'm very excited to see how these things do when they cure um, especially our dinosaur so I had posted something funny and silly to do on Instagram I asked people to come up with a name for our dinosaur here uh, just because I thought it was a fun and silly thing to do I haven't gotten a name yet I haven't picked one yet but um, if you guys have any input on that feel free to go ahead and comment down below what you think his name should be um, I think I'm going to put him with my zombie head from sassy or yeah from sassy girl aroma with the bags and stuff I think that'd be kind of a cool home for him uh, so yeah that's everything and so far I'm pretty impressed I would give uh, the scents right now like a 9 out of 10 just because some of them were kind of light um, I think presentation wise is 10 out of 10 I think other than the packaging issue which you know I'm not really including in this uh, visually wise I think everything came really neat and tidy and I love the labels I love the colorfulness she used some gorgeous colors on this stuff the camera is not doing some of the colors any justice um, I think you can tell that she works very hard at her craft and she is a one-woman show with kids and like a bunch of different pets I read on the website so um, if you guys need anything else her website tells you literally everything um, all of the scent descriptions all of the tat information the PayPal information the her backstory it's really really interesting to go on her website and be able to literally find everything um, and I feel like if you have a very um, you know a specific question you can always go to her Facebook page or you can email her or maybe message her on a messenger app obviously on Facebook um, she was super quick to respond to me when I had an issue so customer service 10 out of 10 and um, so far I'm very very impressed and I really like this vendor a lot and I can definitely see myself ordering in the future if this stuff performs well so that's going to be it for this video I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and I'll catch you in my next one bye